Good evening, Ossetorb. So if you guys will remember from the uh, writing rituals update vlog from last week, I was considering doing NaNoWriMo. <coughs> Sorry, just woke up. Anyway, I have decided that I am going to participate in NaNoWriMo this year. However, I am not going to be doing the audio diaries by Captain August Grant from my Starforge series. Instead, I am going to be working on a book idea that I actually had over the summer. So my NaNoWriMo project is actually going to be Canvas, a Jazz Dylan mystery. This is going to be my very first adult mystery novel, my very first murder mystery. It's going to be a lot of fun. So I have spent the last week outlining uh, my project and I've put together some character collages. I have put together a music playlist on Spotify for me to listen to while I write or even just before I write so that I can, you know, get into the, the mood and the setting of the book. And I have prepped the digital version of the manuscript. So I've like put in the title page and <clears throat> like the author page, but as we talked about last week, I do better when I write my first draft longhand with pen and paper. So now I just have to choose which journal I actually put into uh, writing Jazz Dylan. And it'll probably take up multiple journals because 50,000 words is kind of a lot. And <clears throat> I write kind of big, so sometimes I do double spaced in my journals. So yeah, that's kind of how things are going to work. Um, and because I'm taking part in NaNoWriMo, some things are going to be put on hold. Uh, I'm not going to be as focused on my fan, my critical role fan fictions uh, this next month. It's just kind of how it is. I promise I will publish the next chapter probably on Halloween, but yeah. Um, that's gonna fall to the wayside. And the other writing ritual that I wanted to test out, which is timing writing time rather than counting, you know, word count tracking. Uh, I'm gonna try to do that during NaNoWriMo, but there's no guarantee that I'm gonna do that. So it's, I'm not gonna go out of my way to focus on that. NaNoWriMo is... The writing ritual that I'm focusing on to see if this works for me. And that's it. I am incredibly nervous. Um, and I think that's because my first book did take so long to write. Um, Starforged Orion took six years from idea to publication. And the first draft took about four of those years. So I'm nervous about how this is going to go. I want it to go well. But I'm worried about following through um it's a lot of pressure and i put a lot of pressure on myself as a writer um i just feel like sometimes i feel like if there are huge stretches where i don't write or i don't at any progress, I'm a failure. And that's rough for me to feel. And I don't know how failing NaNoWriMo is going to affect me from that perspective. I don't want to tank myself before I even start. Um, so I'm not going to say that I'm going to fail, but I have to acknowledge the fact that it is an option. Um, <laughs> I was not planning to get emotional for this. Sorry, guys. But... I just wanted to let you guys know I am taking part this year and hopefully it goes well. I'm going to try my absolute darndest and I think I've set myself up for at least a good start. So anyway, uh, I'll try to make weekly updates about how NaNoWriMo is going and whether I'm fulfilling the daily quota or not. Have there been rough days? Is there something I notice about NaNoWriMo that doesn't seem to be working for me? And hopefully, uh, 
<laughs> hopefully it works out. So uh, that's how it's going to be for a while. So next week, hopefully, we're going to have a NaNoWriMo update. Anyway, thank you guys for watching. My book, Starforged Orion, is still available on Amazon and on Barnes & Noble's website. And if you want more contact, feel free to follow me on Twitter, Tumblr, Instagram, Facebook. And I have a Patreon page, so if you'd like to support me, go check that out. Bye!